After Darius deployed his skill, a huge fire domain spread out and quickly enveloped Maximus. Darius declared, Brat, I won't underestimate you. Given your strength, I will suffer a great loss if anything goes wrong. But now, I have already used the power of my domain. With the power of the seventh level of the Great Holy Realm, I can suppress you. You have no chance of winning. Darius had been secretly observing the Empire assessment from the beginning. He naturally knew that Maximus's internal strength base was only at the first heavenly level of the Great Holy Realm. Thus, no matter how powerful Maximus's explosive force was, the power of his domain couldn't be changed. Darius was confident that under the suppression of his seventh heavenly level domain, Maximus would have no chance of challenging him. Fire domain? Maximus wondered aloud as he frowned slightly. He unleashed his first level Great Holy Realm domain to defend himself. Maximus's internal strength base increased dramatically, but the power of his soul and sacred body couldn't dramatically improve. He still couldn't put up any real resistance in the face of Darius's seventh level Great Holy Realm domain. Under the suppression of Darius's domain, Maximus's internal strength base which had reached the sixth heavenly level, dropped rapidly. In the end, it was suppressed to the early period of the fourth level and was on the verge of dropping to the third level. He thought to himself, the suppression of a seventh level great holy realm domain is really not to be underestimated. Yet my blue special flame can erode it. I'm confident of this. Luckily, this is just an ordinary fire domain. If it were a mutated fire domain, I would have no way of countering it. Maximus took a deep, purposeful breath, then screamed, Blue Special Flame! Devour! A silver-white flame soared into the sky, quickly filling up the entire domain. You want to break through my domain? Dream on! Darius exclaimed, his face full of disdain. However, Darius soon discovered that something wasn't right. He was stunned to observe that his domain was slowly being eroded. How is this possible? He mused aloud, his face full of shock. What happened? How could my domain power disappear without me noticing? But because he had the acuity of a level 7 Great Holy Realm expert, Darius was able to quickly solve the mystery. It's actually this silver white flame. The flame can devour my domain energy. Damn it, what kind of flame is this? I've never heard of it. And this kid came from some backwater level 7 empire. How could this be? Darius shouted to no one in particular. Why hadn't such a genius been born in the Ralston family? And why hadn't the Ralston family tried to recruit him? At this moment, Darius was extremely jealous of the Franco family, and his murderous rage surged. He also had to admit that as he interacted with Maximus, he felt that the young man was only becoming more mysterious and unfathomable. Mixed with his rage was fear. As Darius's domain was devoured, Maximus's internal strength base soared once again, and soon he was firmly back at the sixth level. Yet this time, he only reached the early period of that level, and so his blue special flame could not completely devour Darius's domain. Maximus mused to himself, Luckily, my blue special flame has already taken half a step into the medium class upper grade holy flame. And since Darius broke through to the seventh level less than 50 years ago, his domain hasn't reached his peak yet. Now it's time to fight back. He closed his eyes and took a deep breath, then screamed, Fusion! Saint Flame Sky Fist! as he threw out a punch. Kid, don't think that you can fight me just because you can devour my domain. I am a late, great holy realm expert. I'm not someone you can just experiment with, Darius taunted. He paused for effect, then declared, Wild Flame Chaotic Dance! Darius waved both of his hands. His saint origin condensed and spewed out, forming a column of fire that filled the sky. It swayed in the sky, as if dancing, and smashed toward the aura that had emerged from Maximus's fist. Boom! terrifying, chaotic flame fluctuations wreaked havoc. Maximus and Darius were continuously forced back by the impact, yet Maximus was forced to retreat much further. At this point, it was obvious who was stronger. If it hadn't been for the fact 
that the Saint Flame Skyquake Fist was extremely powerful after merging with the Blue Special Flame. Maximus would have been seriously injured. Having gained the upper hand with just one strike, Darius's eyes lit up. But Maximus had not given up. He shouted, Fusion! Void Immortal Snake Dragon Finger! An energy wave that was like a tsunami sent Darius flying. Maximus had the fifth layer of the Sacred Flame Armor and had merged with the Blue Special Flame. However, he was still completely stable. Darius observed a slight undertone of anxiety in his voice. Good, good, good. I thought I had fully grasped your power. I didn't know I still had underestimated you. Take my strongest attack. Darius closed his eyes, then screamed, Raging Flame Fist! Maximus's expression turned serious when he felt the terror of this punch. He had to use all of his strength to defend against it. At the same time, he deployed the nine purple flame poison needles and a small beam of golden light. Darius simply stated, I've seen such poison needles before. I know they are low-grade, medium-class holy artifacts. So how do you expect them to harm a level 7 great holy realm expert? Darius kept blocking the spirit beam from Maximus's void immortal serpent finger. He then threw out another punch. Layers of Saint Origin surged out like waves, sending the nine purple crystal needles flying one by one. Several of them began to bend or crack. But Maximus was not too concerned. After all, given his current internal strength base, these needles were no longer key to his strategy. After sending the nine purple crystal poison needles flying, Darius laughed out loud. As for the slight beam of golden light, he was unconcerned. It was the poison needles that had occupied his thoughts. What could a tiny beam of light do? Darius prepared to deploy another skill. In the next moment, however, his expression dramatically changed. This golden light suddenly became enormous, then solidified. It was like a mountain as it smashed toward Darius. Darius never thought that this small golden light would turn into such an imposing object. His fist collided with the heavenly saint brick. With a horrific sound, his wrist broke. Ah! Darius let out a miserable scream. Currently, the heavenly saint brick was only half a step away from the upper-class holy artifact. Its power was incredible. Darius was completely suppressed without any resistance. Boom! He was pressed to the ground by the heavenly saint brick. Golden whirlwinds blew out in all directions, destroying countless buildings in the surrounding area. At the same time, the ground shook for miles around. There was silence everywhere. The gathered martial artists all gulped in unison. None of them had expected Darius to fall. The sight was surreal. The kings of the eight kingdoms, including the Helena kingdom, trembled. Originally, they had hoped that Manon and the Ralston family would kill Maximus so that they could divide up the land of the great Malta nations without any scruples. But now the eight kings no longer dared to have such thoughts. They were solely focused on protecting themselves from Maximus's wrath. Their only consolation was that they had remained passive throughout the proceedings, so there was no explicit sign of their hostility toward Maximus. In the sky, the Franco family experts were dumbfounded. They had extended the invitation to Maximus to join the family as a guest chamberlain rather casually. But what had they done? It seemed they had invited in a beast. The Franco family valued Maximus, but that was because it valued Maximus's future potential. Was that foolish? Would Maximus instead crush the family from within? The Franco family was deeply grateful that they had tried their best to rope Maximus in from the beginning. Only those as wise as Stanford and King Silman knew that the process was far from complete, however, and that the family had to do a great deal more to secure Maximus's enduring loyalty. The Franco family powerhouse felt lucky and excited, while the Ralston family was completely dumbfounded and panic-stricken. Flee! The Ralston family great elders screamed. Where do you think you're going? Maximus uttered as a fierce look flashed across his eyes. At that moment, he thought of the Alexi family. How could he let a sixth level great holy realm expert roam free when she was intent on enacting revenge on him? Without a word, 
Maximus activated the Heavenly Saint Brick again, and it immediately crushed the old woman. With this last great threat now eliminated, the top warriors of the Franco family charged toward the Ralston's four remaining mid-Great Holy Realm experts. Now the Franco family had the clear advantage in numbers, and the Ralston experts were quickly eliminated. After Stanford returned from this decisive attack, he cupped his fists, bowed his head slightly, and declared to Maximus, Thank you, Brother Alexei, for your help. Without you, I really have no idea what would have happened to the Franco family. The strength that Maximus displayed made Stanford dare not to call Maximus Jr. In the end, he chose Brother, whereas the other members of the Franco family would opt for My Lord. As for King Silman and Phineas, it was clear that they would be even more reverential toward Maximus moving forward. Maximus shook his head, then commented to Stanford, Brother Franco, as I am now a guest of your family, how could I not have aided you? There is no need to be polite. But I have to ask, what do you plan to do with your newfound power and stability? Stanford wore a ferocious expression as he declared, I will exterminate the rest of the Ralston family. Worry not. But you, my friend, should rest for now in the Imperial Palace. When I am done with my task, I will hold a banquet to celebrate you. Maximus hesitated a moment, for he had originally planned to depart right away, but after giving the invitation a bit of thought, he agreed. The stronger his bond to the Franco family, the more likely the family would be to take care of the Alexei clan once he left the northern continent. Maximus went to rest, accompanied by King Silman as his host. Stanford and the other Franco family Holy Realm experts went to the Ralston family compound to prepare for an all-out attack. The monarchs and guardians of the other empires all looked at each other, their hearts filled with regret. If they had known earlier that the Franco family would be the final victor, they would definitely have helped just now. And now that the Franco family had cemented their rule over the great Monterey Empire, they would no doubt remember the individual actions of all these people and treat them accordingly. The rulers of the three level six empires, such as the Wildwood Kingdom, were especially bitter. Originally, they had planned to stand by the Ralston family as it seized power from the Franco family. Then, they would break away from the Monterey Empire entirely and work on their own advancement. Now, however, they would be lucky to not slip back to the status of a level 7 kingdom. Maximus and the others reached the Imperial Palace. Yet after settling in Maximus, Tartan, and Lydia, King Silman did not immediately leave. Instead, he looked at them with an uncertain expression. Maximus ventured. Silman, is there something you need to say? You look distressed. King Silman gritted his teeth, then explained. I have a request. I wonder if... He hesitated. Maximus jumped in, assuring him. If you have something to say, say it. I will be honest with you. If I find your request unreasonable, I simply will not comply. Maximus understood the strategic advantage of aiding the Franco family, yet he was not unreasonable. If the proposal involved risking his life, he would politely refuse. King Silman hurriedly explained, It's not like that, don't worry. Not long ago, our Franco family discovered a secret realm at the border between the Great Monterey Empire and the DeSoto Kingdom. There are countless precious spirit fruits and spirit herbs inside and even a sacred stone vein. Although most of these resources are at the medium class medium grade, a small portion of them are at the medium class upper grade. He paused to make sure Maximus was still listening, then continued, As long as I can obtain these spirit fruits, herbs, and even sacred stones, my Franco family will definitely be able to produce a late stage Great Holy Realm expert. And accordingly, in less than a hundred years, the Great Monterey Empire will be promoted to a fourth great empire. However, there are also experts from the DeSoto country who discovered this secret realm. Therefore, in order to distribute the treasures in that secret realm, our two countries have decided to compete in that secret realm in a month's time. The competition will be split into three rounds, and each will enable the winner to claim a third of the treasures in the secret realm. Silman took a long breath before concluding. Originally, I had imagined perhaps winning one of these rounds by sheer luck. 
But given your presence now, my lord, everything is different. We could well win all of them. And in that case, all the treasures from one round will belong to you. Maximus furrowed his brows, then queried, But wouldn't that mean you would end up with far fewer resources? Silman reasoned, It would, but you've earned it. And plus, this way, the DeSoto Empire will get far fewer resources too. Maximus raised his eyebrows, then commented, Looks like the Franco family and the DeSoto kingdom are in conflict. King Silman nodded his head. That's right. A few hundred years ago, the DeSoto kingdom was still a vassal kingdom of my great Monterey Empire and a few rank six empires. Later on, for some unknown reason, the power of the nation started to increase greatly, and the powerhouses within it also continued to advance. Finally, they broke away from my great Monterey Empire and advanced to a rank 5 empire. If that were the end of the story, we wouldn't be in this position. After all, there are constant power shifts in the northern continent. Quite often, vassal states will become full-fledged kingdoms. King Silman sighed, clearly in some distress, then continued. We have never let down the DeSoto kingdom or suppressed it. In fact, a millennia ago, when it was still a level 7 empire and was in danger, we sent out experts to rescue the kingdom. However, ever since it advanced to a level 5 empire and broke away from the Great Monterey Empire, the DeSoto Kingdom has been adversarial towards us. Their higher-ups even killed a Franco family powerhouse. And now that the DeSoto Kingdom has advanced to the fourth level, the aggression has become even worse. We could be a fourth-level empire too, probably if we didn't need to spend so much time deflecting the Ralston family and the DeSoto kingdom. Silman paused for a moment, then concluded his speech. So, uh, the whole point of competing for treasures in the secret realm is not really the attainment of wealth. Rather, it is the opportunity to put the DeSoto kingdom in its place. Depriving them of the treasures will affect their development. On the other hand, if we obtain a majority of the treasures it will no doubt greatly aid our development. Once we break through to the fourth level, we will no longer be powerless against the DeSoto Kingdom. I fully understand, Maximus stated solemnly. He paused to collect his thoughts, then queried, What is the strength of the top warrior in the DeSoto Kingdom? King Silman reasoned, The DeSoto Kingdom's top warrior possesses the Nether Devil bloodline, so he is called the Nether Devil Saint. He is at the seventh level of the Great Holy Realm. He might be technically stronger than Darius, but his strength is limited. I think you can go against him. Is he only slightly stronger than Darius? All right, I agree, Maximus declared, rubbing his chin. Perhaps it was impossible to use the Heavenly Saint Brick in a traditional way to face a martial artist at this level, but a sneak attack would likely be successful, as it had been with Darius. When King Silman heard Maximus agree, he was overjoyed and grateful. He quickly departed to prepare. Maximus began to muse to himself. It seems like this agreement will be of great help to the Monterey Empire. I'm happy to do it. And if indeed I obtain one third of the treasures from the secret realm, I would assume that this will involve many medium class spirit stones. Some of them might be even purer. I don't have a lot of medium class spirit stones with me now. As long as I have more medium class spirit stones, the strength of the three beasts will continue to increase. It's likely that the Red Skylark will be able to break through to the ninth level of the Great Holy Realm in a short period of time. And with its bloodline, I can imagine it advancing to the Peak Holy Realm eventually. At that point, I will be considered a top warrior in the Northern Continent. After all, by any standard, a Peak Holy Realm force was considered a top warrior. There were a few levels above them, but reaching those levels was exceedingly rare. There were only a handful of martial artists who had. Maximus continued to think, I wonder if there are a large number of upper-class spirit stones in that secret realm. If there are, I can modify and improve the Flying Flame Lion and Phantom Thunder Leopard once more. It would not be impossible for them to break through to the advanced Great Holy Realm in a short period of time. Besides, the main purpose of this trip to the Middle Continent 
is to let the Blackmore family join the spirit race. Isabella has a spiritual body. Only in the spiritual race can she obtain the necessary training and break through to a higher realm. But assuring her success in this race will require a lot of precious spirit fruits. And according to what Lord Flame has told me, I've pretty much exhausted Malta's cultivation of such fruits. Still, I'm lacking high-grade specimens. Maximus sighed, thinking of the difficulty of the situation, then continued. Originally, I planned to go to the Northern University to ask the Deputy Palace Chief for his ideas. The Middle Continent is the richest continent of the five. I should be able to find such spirit fruits there. I wonder if there are spirit fruits that I need in this secret realm. If there are, that would be ideal. But even if there aren't, perhaps I can find some that will increase my strength. That said, the forces in control of such spirit fruits won't be weak. My current overall strength won't be enough. I need to focus on cultivating once more. The next day, Stanford and the other Franco family experts returned. Overall, they had been quite successful in their attempts to suppress the Ralston family for good. Some of the top warriors from the younger generation had fled, but the great Monterey Empire had already issued wanted posters, so it wouldn't take long for them to be captured. Maximus sighed. A family that was comparable to a fifth great empire had vanished just like that. The main reason was because of him. In the palace's great hall, Stanford commented in a sincere tone, we are grateful you are willing to help the Franco family in the secret realm. As the king has informed you, a third of the treasure obtained there will belong to you. Maximus smiled slightly, then proposed, When you head there in a month's time, I will be right behind you. Stanford laughed as he suggested, Then you should stay in the Imperial Palace for the next month. A month later, Stanford led several intermediate Great Holy Realm warriors and Maximus to the secret realm. The realm was located in the middle of a mountain forest. It was a majestic and dangerous place. There was a huge river flowing under the forest, and it meandered for thousands of miles. As they were approaching the site, a loud and grating voice emerged from the trees. Ha <laughs> ha! Brother Franco, you have finally arrived! I thought you were hiding in fear and too much of a wuss to come out. The figure suddenly rose into the sky, flashing in front of Maximus and the others. Maximus focused on him and saw that this person had thick eyebrows and big eyes. He looked honest and open. Maximus was surprised. This nether devil saint's appearance was quite different from his true personality. In other words, looks were deceiving. Maximus thought to himself, no wonder the nether devil saint was able to conceal the strength of the country while developing a plan to overthrow the great Monterey Empire. Clearly, King Silman and the others were caught off guard when they broke away. It's because of the saint's appearance. He seems so honest and kind. With these considerations in mind, Maximus became more vigilant. He vowed to himself that he would not be careless about appearances in the future. At this moment, Lord Flame suddenly stated in a serious tone, Maximus, this guy isn't at the seventh level of the Great Holy Realm. He is at the eighth level. What? Eighth level of the Great Holy Realm? Maximus expressed in a tone of shock. After the battle with Darius, Maximus knew his limit. Without the help of the Heavenly Saint Brick, he would at most have the strength to fight against the seventh heavenly level. But even then, it was a challenge and he had to resort to a sneak attack with the holy weapon, which he did not like. Still, victory was not guaranteed. The prospect of facing a level 8 Great Holy Realm martial artist thus boggled his mind. There was only one way he can win, and that would be to place his hopes on the Red Skylark. Just then, a cold light flashed across his eyes, and his blood pressure rose as he thought to himself, So this guy is actually at the 8th level of the Great Holy Realm, were Stanford and Silman lying to me? After all, though he respected the Franco family, he trusted Lord Flame's judgment over theirs. Then Maximus shook his head and resolved his thoughts. He continued, No, it must have been that the Franco family didn't know the Nether Devil Saint had advanced. Clearly, this guy has cultivated some sort of secret technique to hide his true strength. Yet the technique is not sophisticated enough to block my powers of insight. I suspect this saint broke through recently, perhaps two or three years ago, 
and his internal strength base has just stabilized at the 8th level. He took a deep breath, then continued. But everyone else will be deceived. After all, no one present here is above the 7th level. At this point, Lord Flame interjected using the voice transmission technique. Wait, have you noticed that nearly all of the martial artists presented from the DeZoto Kingdom are at the 7th level of the Great Holy Realm? This shouldn't be. The kingdom just advanced a few centuries ago. There is some secret here. These warriors should be able to reach only the 4th or 5th level of the Great Holy Realm. I have some ideas. Maximus sighed and lowered his head. Covering the expression on his face, he commented, There is a high chance that something is wrong. Furthermore, the people from the Franco family don't know about it. Otherwise, they wouldn't have been suppressed to the point where they were almost replaced by the Ralston family in the Monterey Empire. As for what it is, perhaps we'll understand soon enough. The sacred nether devil has already broken through to the 8th level of the Great Holy Realm, and he has led several of his fellow warriors to the 7th level. Obviously, the goal is not just to fight, but to kill the Franco family. Stanford, Maximus, and a few intermediate Franco family Great Holy Realm experts landed on a mountaintop. The sacred nether devil laughed. Then he spat out, Brother Franco, since we're here, let's begin. There's no need to talk any more nonsense or delay for the sake of it. As he spoke, the sacred nether devil glanced at Maximus with the subtlest of eye gestures. For some reason, the sacred nether devil was fixated on the Franco family, but it was impossible for him to pay attention to them all the time. Thus, he was a bit behind on the latest news, and clearly he had heard nothing about Maximus' identity or the sensation he had caused. The Dark Devil Saint was suspicious. Could he be a new rising genius of the Franco family? If that was the case, then he was somewhat intrigued, but hardly worried. Surely this genius was just a little bit above average. A blazing and greedy gaze suddenly flashed across the Nether Devil Saint's eyes as he thought of making all the young Franco warriors subservient to him in the near future. When he took over the Great Monterey Empire, Stanford and the other Franco family experts would not notice this. However, Maximus, who knew that something was wrong, shivered at the implications. Baron, you will fight in the first match, Stanford declared, turning to an old man who looked rather nervous. He was at the sixth level of the Great Holy Realm, though only at the initial stages. That said, Stanford understood this battle was unimportant and that his representative would likely lose. The important battles would be handled by Stanford and Maximus personally. Baron stepped forward. On the DeSoto side, there was also a sixth heavenly level expert. At first blush, she seemed to be at the middle or late stage of the sixth heavenly level. However, through Lord Flame, Maximus knew that this person was actually at the early seventh level. Baron fell quickly. Next, it was Stanford's turn to appear. Diamond shattering annihilation strike, he shouted. Thousand leaves, drunk saber dance, his DeSoto opponent countered. The DeSoto expert on the opposite side danced like a crazed swan. Large amounts of energy leaves gathered quickly around him, and in the next moment, a storm of foliage blew at Stanford. Boom! Stanford's energy beam was filled with destructive aura, and it was like a tornado that swallowed the leaves. Stanford revealed a smile, but in the next second, his face was filled with fear. The expert of the DeSoto country, who was seemingly at a disadvantage, started laughing out loud. The aura on her body suddenly rose, and in a short period of time, she reached the early seventh level of the Great Holy Realm. At the same time, the overall power of her Holy Realm skill increased dramatically, reaching a truly unfathomable level. At this moment, Stanford felt as if the leaves were tiny sharp blades threatening the integrity of his body. <laughs> he let out a blood-curdling scream. Diamond-shattering annihilation! Break, break, break! Stanford roared again and again. Stanford was at the peak of the sixth level of the Great Holy Realm, after all, and was only a half step away from the seventh level. He was able to break through this attack, despite its spectacular power. The power of the opponent's Holy Realm skill was weaker than Stanford's, 
It was only because of the internal strength base that she was able to suppress Stanford. Under Stanford's explosive attack, this expert was unable to hold on. After breaking through the attack of the powerful DeSoto warrior, Stanford began gasping for air. His body was full of wounds. He fell to the ground in a sorry state. Stanford was confused. I... I lost? <laughs> Thank you for letting me win, the sacred nether devil laughed coldly. This laughter pulled Stanford back from his confusion. He took a deep look at the dark devil saint. How could he not know that the other party had deliberately hidden the internal strength base just to catch him off guard? Although he was unwilling, the results were final. Stanford could only smile bitterly. Could it be that the great Monterey Empire was going to be swallowed by the DeSoto country in the end? I'm really sorry. Looks like all the treasures in the secret realm belong to my DeSoto country. The Nether Devil Saint cruelly commented. Maximus took stock of the general situation here. The expert of the DeSoto Kingdom who was fighting Stanford was far weaker than Darius Ralston. First of all, Darius had stabilized his internal strength at the seventh heavenly level of the Great Holy Realm, and he was even approaching the intermediate grade of that realm. Second, Darius had already comprehended his own medium-class upper-grade Holy Realm skill. Although it was rather ordinary, it was one that he invented, which allowed him to deploy it at 100% of its power. As for the DeSoto expert, she had not yet consolidated the early period of the seventh level, and her Holy Realm skill was still at the medium class medium grade. If she were to face Darius, there would be no competition. This was likely why the Nether Devil Saint had chosen to put her forward in the competition so early in the game. She could easily pose as a level 6 Great Holy Realm expert, then launch an unexpected attack. In turn, Stanford had been able to counter her moves and survive. The Nether Devil Saint narrowed his eyes slightly and mused aloud. Although you are still alive, Stanford, it's fine. Once I obtain all the treasures in the secret realm, I will make quick work of you and all the others. And let me tell you, I want every last treasure. I won't let a single one go. In fact, the Nether Devil Saint wanted the DeSoto's Kingdom's experts to enter the secret realm and seize the treasures right away. At this moment, Stanford struggled to get up and shouted, Wait! What? You have lost. Don't tell me you want to violate our agreement. The sacred nether devil seized, his expression rageful yet concerned. Stanford wiped the saliva from the corner of his mouth and stated in a deep voice, There are a total of three matches. Aren't you being a little hasty? We still have one match left. The devil saint could not hold back his laughter as he reasoned, Stanford, what other experts does your Franco family have? besides the two sixth heavenly level great holy realm warriors. Do you think you have a chance of winning the third match? Let's just call it now and save ourselves the time and trouble. Who said we would definitely lose? How will we know if we don't even compete? Stanford pronounced, staring at the sacred nether devil with total conviction. The sacred nether devil sneered and met Stanford's gaze. After a few awkward minutes of silence, he revealed a sly smile. All right, let's see what other trump cards you have, he mocked. Stanford turned around, faced Maximus, and stated in a neutral tone, Maximus, I leave everything to you. Maximus nodded and walked forward. The nether devil saint's eyes narrowed. He had never thought that the Franco family would put forward such an unknown, random martial artist in so consequential a competition. The Dark Devil Saint laughed again. Old man, have you had your brain checked recently? He's just a kid, probably not even a hundred years old. What do you expect him to accomplish? Stanford gave him a cryptic smile, then uttered in a subtle tone, Just wait and see. The Nether Devil Saint narrowed his eyes. After a while, he chuckled and said to a middle-aged man behind him, Janice, I'll leave this kid to you. Despite his name being redolent of antiquity, this middle-aged man was neither proud nor handsome. In fact, 
he was stuck and rather awkward. His features were too big for his face. He looked rather strange. Janice clenched his fists and stated disdainfully, You should go home and drink your milk, kid. It's not good to meddle in the affairs of adults. Janice had lived for more than a thousand years. Maximus, who had lived for less than a hundred years, was indeed a little kid to him. He was not even close to the age of Janice's great-grandson. Cut the crap and attack, Maximus shot back. Very good, just what I was thinking, Janice smirked, then began clawing at the air like a crazed bear. Maximus shook his head. Janice had unleashed a sixth-level Great Holy Realm aura. He was clearly suppressing his true strength. Did he really think this would be enough? He would soon regret that decision. Maximus shouted, Holy fire battle body, condense! Phantom immortal body, condense! Blue special flame, fuse! Merge! Saint flame, heaven striking fist! One after the other, Maximus unleashed his most powerful attacks, mostly to make a point. His internal strength base had reached the late stage of the Great Holy Realm 6th level, and with the enhancement of his Holy Realm skills, Maximus's attack was delivered with level 7 force. What? Janus was shocked. How is this possible? How could such a powerful attack come from such a pipsqueak? The aura from Maximus's golden flaming fist landed heavily on Janus's body, sending him flying away. At the same time, the golden flames had completely engulfed him. Janus had made a fatal mistake in underestimating Maximus. Soon, he was holding on to the last strands of life. If he had used his level 7 strength from the beginning, he could have stood up to Maximus. However, in keeping with the DeSoto way, he had hidden his true strength. And thus, he had not even had the time to counterattack. The expressions of the DeSoto Empire experts changed dramatically. How dare you? The nether devil saint glared at Maximus. He had never expected this unknown kid to launch such a formidable attack. He mused to himself. Damn it, this kid's life force is too vigorous. How can he have such strength? Where did he come from? And how did the pathetic Franco family manage to claim him? The dark demon saint was filled with regret. If he had known this earlier, he wouldn't have let his side hide their strength from the start. This would have given him the advantage of surprise. Yet now, it was his side that had been caught off guard. Of course, Janice's strength was at the bottom of the seventh level of the Great Holy Realm. But it was not as if the DeSoto Empire had an endless supply of level 7 Great Holy Realm warriors. Losing one would have a profound impact. You bastard! The sacred nether devil's cold-killing intent enveloped Maximus. Stanford frowned slightly as he proffered. Sacred nether devil, we agreed that we would let the final results of the battle stand. Look, I was almost killed, but I am not seeking revenge. Bullshit! You killed my subordinates and still want to leave alive? Dream on! The demon saint spat, then went on. At this point, I'll tell you the truth. I have no intention of sparring you today. Hand over the secret realm key, and I'll grant you a quick death. As he spoke these revelations, his expression was heartless. If not for the fact that the key to enter the secret realm had been split in half, the nether devil saint would have not needed to fight. He would have long ago entered the secret realm and emptied it of treasures. Stanford's expression changed drastically. He uttered, So that's how it is. This was your plan all along. Huh, <laughs> what if I don't hand it over? The demon saint's expression was ferocious as he shouted, You don't want to hand it over. Back when you left the secret realm, you escaped quickly. If it wasn't for you escaping to the great Monterey Empire, I would have seized the key long ago. You surely have the key. Why else would you have agreed to come here? If it wasn't for the fact that I was worried about the secret realm being exposed and attracting other martial artists, I would have attacked the great Monterey Empire and captured you a long time ago. He took a deep breath, then concluded, You have no idea what your family will have to endure for generations to come if you do not comply. Stanford had not expected the Devil Saint to be so vicious. Now, he was furious and humiliated. He was breathing so heavily, 
his chest was visibly moving up and down. Part of him just wanted to hand over the key fragment, as he knew that the devil saint was psychotic and would likely follow through on his gruesome promises. He just wanted the conflict to end. On the other hand, if he granted the devil saint access to the sacred realm, the overall strength of the DeSoto Empire would surely increase dramatically over a short period of time, and even then, it would still likely invade the Great Monterey Empire. As if by some sort of magnetic pull, Stanford glanced at Maximus and suddenly emerged from his stupor. He thought to himself, Wait, Maximus has the ability to kill a 7th heavenly level Great Holy Realm expert. If he can defeat the Dark Devil Saint, all of our problems will be solved. As for the other DeSoto Kingdom experts, I can join forces with the others to fight them and we will at least end up in a tie. The sacred nether devil saw Stanford's expression and commented disdainfully, You still have hopes for this kid? You are naive. He's a brat who got lucky, but now he will pay the price for his arrogance. Without skipping a beat, the devil saint shouted, Nether devil heavenly might slash! Maximus had long guessed that the nether devil saint would eliminate all the Franco family experts, so he had been on guard from the beginning. Seeing the Devil Saint launching an attack at him, he immediately deployed the Sacred Flame's Rumbling Heaven Fist. Boom! A terrifying energy overflowed in all directions. Maximus's body flew backward. Although the Sacred Nether Devil didn't use the power of the 8th level of the Great Holy Realm, he still had the power of the peak of the 7th level. It was obvious that the Devil Saint didn't dare to be careless when Maximus killed Janus with a single strike. In other words, despite his mockery, he had already estimated that Maximus was a formidable opponent. Go to hell! The Dark Devil Saint punched out with a fist, filling the sky with beams of violent energy. Then they landed in the mountain forest, causing smoke and dust to rise up in great plumes. Countless trees fell with a terrifying sound, and monumental cracks appeared on the ground. Maximus was in the middle of the aftermath, constantly dodging this way and that. When he was occasionally hit by an energy beam, he felt searing pain. He mused to himself, This is the strength of a peak 7th level Great Holy Realm expert? Sure enough, I am still lacking a lot. If my internal strength base were just a little improved, I wouldn't be in such a sorry state right now. He again thought of the vast difference between an early level 7 warrior like Darius and a true advanced level 7 warrior. Maximus spread his vermilion bird flame spirit wings and tried his best to dodge the energy beams. All around him, the mountain forest looked like it had been subjected to a cataclysmic event. Huh, you're pretty fast. Let's see what you can do, the devil saint threatened, then increased the speed of his attacks. Stanford and the other Franco family experts couldn't sit still any longer. Only now did they know how powerful the Devil Saint was. The woman who had fought Stanford, sensing commotion in his group, confronted him. Think about it. Your group is weak. Right now you have your lives. But if you step into the arena, this is not guaranteed. Stanford's expression was solemn as he shot back. You are only at the bottom of the seventh level of the Great Holy Realm. The few of us combined might be able to kill you. <laughs> That's true. I am indeed the weakest of the group, but do you really think I'm the only level 7 warrior present? The expert teased. What? Stanford had a bad premonition in his heart. Then, without warning, the true strength auras of all the other DeSoto Kingdom experts came roaring out with a shocking, soul-shattering force. Stanford and his compatriots had thought these were only level 5 and level 6 warriors, but they now understood they had been duped. How, how is this possible? How can there be so many level 7 Great Holy Realm experts in one empire? Stanford could not help but express, speaking to no one in particular. What had happened before his very eyes was truly unbelievable. How long had it been? How could so many late Great Holy Realm experts have emerged in the DeSoto country? The woman sneered as she declared, You have no choice but to accept your fate. The experts from the DeSoto country attacked one after another. Within minutes, the Franco family forces were on the ground, gasping for air and crying out in pain. 
Stanford's face was filled with sorrow and despair. Under such circumstances, he no longer had any hope of escaping. Out of desperation, he cried out, Maximus, run! Run! Run as far as you can! Stanford now felt extremely guilty for dragging Maximus into this matter. He had indeed led him into an elaborate trap. Now, he could no longer do anything for Maximus. The absolute best scenario was that the young man escaped safely. If he could inform the Franco family in time, then perhaps some of the bloodline could be preserved. Escape? Impossible! Under my fist shadow, where can you escape to? The devil saint countered, glaring at Maximus and Stanford in turns. However, at this moment, the devil saint saw a small golden light coming at him. What is this thing? He mused, instinctively raising his fist to block it. However, the golden light moved at a speed and force that surprised the sacred nether demon. It pushed through his energy beam and continued heading straight for his chest. Sky-reaching Saint Brick suppress! In the distance, Maximus's roar could be heard. The minor golden light transformed into a huge golden brick that resembled a vast mesa. It descended from the sky with a violent force that could suppress everything and ruthlessly pressed down on the Devil Saint. Not good, the Devil Saint instinctively uttered, his expression darkening. The mountain forests shook violently. They seemed on the verge of a monumental collapse. Dust, leaves, and branches were flying through the sky at a terrifying velocity. In the sky, Maximus was also gasping for breath. In order to avoid the fist beams, Maximus had used all of his strength. The saint origin in his body was being consumed at a visible rate. The blood-drinking nine dragon sword in his hand suddenly appeared and slashed down fiercely. Blood-drinking nine dragons break, he screamed, then went on. Blood-drinking nine dragons kill! Blood-drinking nine dragon destruction! One after another, powerful attacks were launched. Stanford and the others revealed joyful expressions. Could it be? Open for me! the devil saint shouted out of nowhere. He was no longer hiding his true internal strength base, and he erupted with an eighth-level Great Holy Realm force. With this extraordinary power now operational, he lifted the mountain-like, heavenly saint brick and sent it flying. He stared at the dragons Maximus had deployed and commented, Huh, little lizards, no problem. Then he paused for effect before screaming, Nether devil, heavenly might slash! He had deployed a Holy Realm sword technique that, when combined with his internal strength base, exceeded the 8th level. Of the three blood dragons, only the third struggled slightly before it was destroyed, and the other two were powerless. The power of the 8th level of the Great Holy Realm was revealed at this moment. Stanford and the others, who had still been feeling somewhat confident about Maximus's prospects, had completely fallen into despair. It was clear that an 8th level Great Holy Realm expert was about as powerful as warriors from the realm could be. The gap between the Devil Saint and the level 7 warriors who had preceded him was just too great. Maximus sighed. Even the Heavenly Saint Brick and the blood-drinking Dragon Saber had failed to take down his opponent. With a cold expression, the Devil Saint taunted. Sighing, it seems like you are resigned to your fate. Unfortunately, if your talent was slightly inferior, perhaps I would admire you rather than lust to destroy you. But you are too talented and too strong, my young friend. I really have no choice but to eliminate you here. I can tell you are feeling regret right now that you have confronted me in the first place. But unfortunately... There is no medicine for regret in this world. You have no choice but to fight. The devil saint raised his arm high, ready to unleash the heavenly demonic slash. The entire sky was enveloped by a powerful force. Just as he was beginning to think that Maximus would give up completely, he got the shock of a lifetime. Maximus smiled cryptically, then uttered, Give up? Are you joking? I just wanted to test the gap between me and the 8th level of the Great Holy Realm. Now that I know the difference, I have no use for you. Maximus waved his sleeve and summoned the Red Skylark. 
the aura of the sixth heavenly level and a scorching flame that seemed intent on causing the apocalypse rushed out. Sixth level of the great holy realm Warcraft creatures? The devil saint involuntarily exclaimed. His eyes narrowed. He took a deep breath. Then he continued. Impressive. It will be stronger than a human warrior at the same level. But given my level eight true strength, I should be fine. He paused for effect before screaming, Heavenly Wrath Slash of the Nether Devil! The dark demon saint waved his arm, and a pitch black saint origin condensed into a huge blade that emitted a dense black energy. The huge saber shook in the sky, then began to fly through the air. The space it passed shattered, recombined, and condensed. The red skylark spat out flames and mocked him. You are all bark and no bite! Pathetic! It sent out flames that caused the space to tremble. They collided with the huge black blade. In the blink of an eye, the blade was devoured. How is this possible? The nether demon saint's eyes widened in disbelief. How could a mere Warcraft creature at the sixth level of the Great Holy Realm devour his attack so easily? The red skylark let out a loud cry. The sound shook the heavens and the earth. At this moment, the forest seemed like it was going to collapse at any moment. Not only had the Red Skylark's strength increased greatly, its control over its bloodline was also not like anything that had been seen in the past. It was much more assured, much more formidable. Indeed, the Red Skylark was now firmly established as an advanced Great Holy Realm creature. What did this mean? It meant that without using the suppression of the domain, no great holy realm under the peak of holy realm could do anything to the Red Skylark. Even if it was at the peak of the ninth heavenly level, it was still no match for him. The Red Skylark could even fight against an expert who had just stepped into the first heavenly level of the peak holy realm. Further, he had comprehended a holy realm skill that was no weaker than the medium class upper grade, which made him even stronger. It was only too easy for him to devour the attack of the Devil Saint. Nether Devil Domain! His opponent shouted. He was furious, but also scared. The power of the Red Skylark had far exceeded his imagination. He now had no choice but to turn to his domain. All around the arena, Stanford and the other Franco family experts, as well as the great Holy Realm experts of DeSoto Country, were deeply shocked. Who would have thought that Maximus had such a trump card. Like most, they believed that Warcraft creatures did not tend to get along with humans. Maximus naturally wouldn't answer this sort of question. He would just let these people repeatedly question themselves. Meanwhile, the Nether Demon Saint domain continued to descend on the Red Skylark. The internal strength base of the Red Skylark gradually decreased. However, the Skylark's internal base strength was solidly at the sixth level of the Great Holy Realm. It could well have been at the peak. It was no ordinary Holy Realm Warcraft creature. This bit of suppression thus had little effect on it. Vermilion Flame Sparrow Kill! The Skylark chirped in its deep intonation. The ultimate skill of a medium-class, medium-grade Holy Realm had now been upgraded to the medium-class upper grade. Terrifying flames swept out, turning into a fiery storm. Under the sacred nether devil's incredulous gaze, the domain began to crack, then shattered. It was now clear that the flames were headed for the devil saint himself, threatening to devour him. No! Keep the body intact! Maximus hurriedly shouted. Currently, the blood-drinking dragon saber had been raised to the limit of a medium-class, medium-grade holy artifact. The blood essence of a late great holy realm warrior would have a significant impact on its improvement. He didn't want this opportunity to go to waste. The Red Skylark paused for a moment, and it immediately retracted its flames. Even so, it had still significantly injured the Devil Saint, who fainted on the spot. With a flap of its powerful, massive wings, the Red Skylark swept over the fallen Devil Saint. Then, the Skylark and Maximus turned their gazes to the experts of the DeSoto Kingdom. The expressions on the opponents became expressions of pure fear and anxiety, and they disappeared like streaks of light, running for cover. The Red Skylark uttered disdainfully, Trying to escape from me? You overestimate your abilities. 
The Red Skylark was extremely fast, and it was even more so when the internal strength base had reached the sixth level of the Great Holy Realm. In just a few blinks of an eye, all of the late Great Holy Realm experts were captured. Stanford shook his head and could not help but grin. He expressed, Thank you, Maximus. If it had not been for you, I just don't know what would have happened. Maximus protested. There's no need for that. After all, I am a guest Chamberlain of your family. And in the future, I will no doubt call upon you for help. We'll discuss that later. After finishing his statement, Maximus flew up and arrived at another part of the mountain forest. After all, he wanted to accomplish the advancement of the blood-drinking dragon saber in private, away from the prying eyes of the Franco family experts. That way, they would only think his internal strength method had made a breakthrough and wouldn't suspect anything unusual. With the Red Skylark still hovering above them, Stanford and the others did not dare to say anything. On the other side of the forest, Maximus took out his saber and began absorbing the blood essence of the Devil Saint. The blood essence of the Devil Saint was sucked into the blood-drinking dragon's saber at a rapid rate. If an ordinary person were to witness this scene, they would definitely be frightened and cry out. However, Maximus was different. When he first used the blood-drinking dragon's saber to absorb the blood essence, he was indeed startled. However, after a long period of time, he gradually became numb to it. The blood essence of a cultivator at the eighth level of the Great Holy Realm was impressive. Very soon, a powerful blood-red light formed into a huge dragon that soared into the sky and danced among the clouds. Then, it formed a huge blood-red vortex in the sky, and a tremendous pressure descended. What? What is that? A Franco family genius stammered while pointing expressively at the sky. Stanford looked over with rapt attention. He proposed, I would assume it's Maximus' is doing. I guess his internal strength method has broken through. This has nothing to do with us. Don't ask him about it, please. If you offend him, that will be the end of us. Stanford's followers had dumbfounded and terrified expressions on their faces. They were mystified by Maximus, as well as his mighty Warcraft beast. At this point, they had no choice but to heed Stanford's warning. Time slowly passed. The blood essence of the eighth heaven of the Great Holy Realm allowed the blood-drinking dragon saber to smoothly advance to a medium-class, upper-grade holy artifact. Taking up the blood-drinking dragon saber once again, Maximus commented in a low voice, If I can get my hands on the blood essence of a few more level 8 Great Holy Realm warriors, or even a level 9 Great Holy Realm warrior, I can bring this saber to the limit of the medium-class upper-grade category. It won't be any weaker than the Heavenly Saint Brick currently is. But if I want to bring the blood-drinking dragon saber to the level of an upper-class, upper-grade holy artifact, I must hunt for a peak holy realm expert. At this point, Lord Flame's voice rang out. Maximus, the soul of the sacred nether devil has awakened, and I have found out why his internal strength base reached the eighth heaven so quickly. Do you want to hear it? Speak, Maximus quickly responded. Lord Flame proceeded. The devil saint found a sacred stone super vein in DeSoto country, and it was at the medium grade. By mining this sacred stone super vein, the Devil Saint was able to increase his internal strength base greatly in just a short period of time. In the beginning, he didn't spread the news about the Sacred Stone Vein. It wasn't until he became the strongest expert in the DeSoto Kingdom and gained control of the populace and felt comfortable letting a few people know about it. These people were then able to break through to the late stage of the Great Holy Realm in turn. He paused to make sure he had Maximus's undivided attention then went on. The reason why the DeSoto Kingdom targeted the Great Monterey Empire was because the Sacred Stone Super Vein ran all the way to the Monterey Territory. He has reached the borders of Monterey with his excavations. And if he wants to seize the vein in its entirety, he needs to take possession of the Monterey Territory. As the Devil Saint dug deeper, the purity of the Sacred Stones, of course, increased. This is how spirit geology works. Recently, he even discovered an upper-class holy stone, and this led him to believe 
that the sections of the vein that runs below the Monterey Empire will be the most fruitful and have the most precious stones. Maximus was shocked and could not maintain his calm. This is unreal, he stated. I had no idea. After all, the appearance of a super vein required not only sufficient heaven and earth energy, but also a great deal of ethereal luck. And such luck was known to be extremely scarce in the Forgotten Continent, which had long ago lost its connection to the continent of the gods. Such an abandoned land had extremely poor luck, which was why super veins were essentially non-existent. Perhaps a handful of kingdoms at the top three ranks had access to such resources, but a vast majority of kingdoms had to obtain sacred stones through exchange. Having access to their own supply of the treasures was something totally beyond their imaginations. Even if the super vein produced only low-class stones, it could still provoke epic wars. In fact, it wouldn't have been surprising to see peak Holy Realm warriors fighting over such a resource. So one could then imagine how precious a super vein producing medium grade or even upper grade stones would be. Maximus's eyes lit up as he mused aloud. No wonder the devil saint hid himself so well. Once he exposed himself and provoked peak Holy Realm experts in the surrounding areas, his sense of security would immediately disappear. After all, these are upper class sacred stones we're talking about. His mind immediately went to the Warcraft beasts. If he could obtain a substantial amount of upper-class sacred stones, the overall strength of the beasts would skyrocket in a short period of time. And after the Flying Flame Lion and Phantom Thunder Leopard had been modified, their bloodline would leap to the status of a high-level holy beast. The talent of the Red Skylark, meanwhile, had long surpassed the holy level, so no matter how it was modified, it would be impossible for it to increase its potential unless it could obtain a divine crystal in the future. Nonetheless, the Skylark could improve its strength with the stones. Indeed, Maximus foresaw a scenario in which the Red Skylark reached the peak holy realm almost instantaneously. And once it broke through to this realm, it would be considered a force worthy of taking on any number of ancient families in the northern continent. How could Maximus not be excited? After a while, Maximus recovered from his excitement. He thought to himself, Mining the sacred stone super vein will be an arduous process, and it's not even guaranteed that we will find upper-class stones. We'll let the Franco family handle all of this. I will send Lydia and Tartan back to Malta, and I'll stay here for a while. If there are really upper-class sacred stones in this landscape, I don't think the Franco family would dare to keep it for itself. Also, there will be spirit fruits in the sacred realm that I will need to absorb in seclusion. I can do that after I raid the secret realm, in the comfort of the Franco family compound. Suddenly, everything became crystal clear to Maximus. He returned to Stanford's side, and together, they led the delegation into the secret realm. A month later, Maximus sat cross-legged in the secret chamber that the Franco family had prepared for him. In his storage space was a large number of low-grade saint stones medium-grade spirit stones, and spirit fruits. All of these resources had been obtained in the secret realm. Indeed, there were many treasures in the secret realm, and yet there were still many places that had yet to be fully explored. After sweeping through the area, Maximus left all these other zones to Stanford and the others to harvest. For in a month's time, he had basically found all the treasures he could find, and the rest were useless to him. Now, he needed to focus on increasing his own internal strength in a meditative space. And for that, he would primarily utilize spirit fruits. Lord Flame advised Maximus, Kid, in eight years you'll have sufficient ripe spirit fruits. Just wait. That's a long time, Maximus shot back a hesitant smile on his face. Lord Flame rolled his eyes and scolded. Just eight years? Be content with what you have. If you break through to true god level in the future and have the chance to leave the Forgotten Continent and obtain a higher level divine fruit, then it will take hundreds of years to mature. And you have advanced further and further. You are looking at a millennia. 
compared to those spans of time, eight years is like a short nap. I can't believe it, Maximus exclaimed. Then he collected his thoughts and continued. But there are still more than ten years left before the competition. I have sufficient time. After giving the fruits to Lord Flame to refine into elixirs, Maximus waited patiently. A few hours later, Lord Flame transferred several medium-grade divine fruit elixirs into Maximus's storage bag. The Nine Flames fire formula started circulating rapidly, digesting these elixirs in a rapid and aggressive manner. More time passed. Unbeknownst to Maximus, the elixir energy that filled his body had been completely absorbed, and his internal strength base had been raised to the peak of the Great Holy Realm's first level. This was entirely attributed to the elixirs. Indeed, if Maximus had been absorbing the spirit fruits in their purest form, the rate and efficacy of absorption would have been significantly worse. Further, as one consumed more and more, the effects lessened in intensity. This is why martial artists tended not to eat spirit fruits continuously, but rather every once in a while. As Maximus took account of the remarkable effects of the elixir, he could not help but dream of achieving the great feat of reaching the peak holy realm before the age of 100. This was essentially unheard of in the Forgotten Continent. Put another way, for even the most distinguished young martial artists, the prospect of advancing internal strength bases through the use of spirit fruits was a difficult one. The elixirs made all the difference. In fact, they were a trump card that Maximus could use to compete with the geniuses of the ancient families, even though, in every other respect, he did not have the same resources. As long as there were enough elixirs, there was no limit to Maximus's advancement. He would easily be able to advance to the upper echelons of the great holy realm. But of course, Maximus wouldn't stop there. And nor did he have much anxiety about advancing to the peak of the Holy Realm, then the Holy Realm Outer Precinct, then the Holy Realm Inner Precinct. It was only when he reached the True God Realm that he anticipated encountering problems. But to Maximus, who had the resources of the Nine Flames Fire Tower, even the True God Realm would not be the end. He believed that with Lord Flame's help, he would definitely be able to find a way to reach the Continent of the Gods. And indeed, based on the fact that Lord Flame constantly referenced this divine place, it seemed to Maximus he had the confidence that he would reach that level. Furthermore, Maximus wouldn't only focus on improving his internal strength base, but also his ultimate technique. Otherwise, what was the point of the internal strength base being powerful? Lord Flame encouraged Maximus. Kid, you've reached the peak of the Great Holy Realm's first level. Continue refining and break through to the second level. Maximus ingested a second set of elixir doses. The elixir had been made from a fruit of a higher grade, one considered to be at the top of the medium class spirit fruits. It enables Maximus to immediately break through to the second level and go directly to the intermediate stage of that level. He then took another set of doses. Now he was at the peak of the second level. A few more doses from another spirit fruit brought him to the intermediate third level. Yet now, there was only one divine fruit elixir left. This elixir had been made from a spirit fruit that was considered the most potent of the medium-grade spirit fruits. If it had been a mere ordinary spirit fruit, it certainly could not have helped Maximus break through from the third to the fourth level, for the bottleneck between these levels was particularly difficult to break. The reason was that the fourth level represented the beginning of the intermediate stage of the Great Holy Realm. But with this particular Divine Fruit Elixir, there was hope. Maximus started circulating the Nine Flames Fire formula to refine the fruit. Powerful energy flowed back and forth in his body. Cold sweat began to form on Maximus's forehead, and his facial expression began to twist. The surging energy brought tremendous pain to his meridians, and it almost broke through them. This kind of pain was accompanied by Maximus's internal strength base reaching the peak of the third level. Break! 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 Maximus roared in his heart. The endurance of the Meridians was limited. If he didn't break through to the fourth level during this session, he would risk suffering a serious injury. 
his veins bulged, and he continuously roared in an attempt to bear the pain. After an unknown amount of time, a powerful aura gushed out with a rumbling sound. Golden flames involuntarily emerged, wrapping around Maximus's body. Maximus's internal strength base was still growing stronger and stronger, and then it reached its peak. At the same time, the golden flames that had wrapped around Maximus's body also gradually returned to him. Not long after, Maximus slowly opened his eyes and unconsciously let out a sigh. The moment Maximus completely opened his eyes, two flames shot out and melted two big holes in the wall opposite him. If it wasn't for Maximus restraining himself in time, the wall could have very well have melted. I have broken through. I have finally broken through to the peak early fourth level. I've reached the intermediate great holy realm, and I should be able to advance again in the next six months, Maximus figured in his mind. Maximus clenched his fist, and he felt the strength in his body. He nodded his head in satisfaction. Maximus continued to assess his situation in his mind. My internal strength base has broken through to the intermediate great holy realm, and my combat strength has improved a lot. However, my phantom immortal body and holy fire battle body are still at the medium class medium grade. So in reality, my overall strength hasn't improved by much. Right now, I can likely only fight against those at the 8th level of the Great Holy Realm, though probably not those at the peak 8th level. Maximus shook his head. Though he knew his cultivation had been productive, he was still somewhat disappointed in himself. He vowed to find a way to improve his Holy Realm skills, as this would ultimately make the big difference. Maximus then shifted his thoughts to another topic. In that secret realm, apart from giving me a lot of divine fruits, the Franco family also gave me access to other treasures. It seems they know I am a fire attribute martial artist. They also know I wish to take care of other members of the Alexi family. Besides the spirit fruits, I remember there is also a mysterious flame fire crystal. It contains a lot of energy. It is equivalent to a top grade spirit fruit. Refining the fire energy in this profound flame fire crystal might enable my nine flames fire formula to break through to the intermediate fifth level. At that time, the power of the blue special flame won't be any weaker than the medium class upper grade holy flame. Maximus immediately took out the profound flame fire crystal, which Lord Flame had already converted into an elixir. He drank the elixir hurriedly, and the nine flames fire formula began circulating wildly within his body. This time, Maximus wanted to break through to a higher level. Soon, he was at the fifth level, but he did not stop there. The Nine Flames fire formula was obviously still accelerating, so how could he relent? When he had reached the intermediate fifth level, Maximus relaxed his body and revealed a satisfied smile. He mused to himself, In the future, I need to gradually push the intermediate fifth level to its limit, then break through to the late fifth level. At that point, I'll be able to increase the power of the blue special flame. And if I can get it to catch up with my internal strength base before I break through to the peak holy realm, it will be indescribably beneficial to my overall strength. The increase in the power of the blue special flame had brought about a comprehensive change. When it was combined with the holy fire battle body and the phantom immortal body, the result would be truly shocking. Now Maximus was more confident he could take on a peak level 8 warrior, or even those beyond that level. Maximus continued to lay out his plans. Next, I need to upgrade my holy fire battle body. There is still a devil core left behind by the great holy realm fire attribute warcraft creature in my hand. The owner of this devil core used to be a mighty warrior at the 8th or 9th level of the great holy realm. As time passed, the energy within the devil core has dropped to the 7th level yet it should be enough to help the Holy Fire battle body break through. Maximus didn't get up. Instead, he started cultivating the Holy Fire battle body, which had already reached the peak of the fifth level. Once it broke through to the sixth level, it would be equivalent to a medium class upper grade Holy Realm skill. In a matter of hours, Maximus had reached his goal of advancing the Holy Fire battle body to the sixth level. Now, there was nothing he could do to improve it further. He could only turn his attention to further refining his Holy Realm skills. He thought to himself, It's time for me to come out of seclusion. 
I wonder what the Franco family is doing with the super vein of medium-class sacred stones. I hope they won't be blinded by greed. After exiting seclusion, Maximus found out that he had been cultivating for half a year. This made him sigh with emotion. He mused, Time really flies when one is immersed in internal strength building. To me, it only felt like half a day. Yet the seasons have changed. It's all thanks to me having the Nine Flames Fire Formula and the Elixirs. Otherwise, I would not have been able to transform so dramatically in such a short period of time. He restrained his aura. With the aid of Lord Flame, his internal strength base wouldn't be easily seen through. Therefore, when Stanford arrived, he didn't notice that Maximus had advanced from the first heavenly level of the Great Holy Realm to the fifth level. Stanford explained with a respectful expression, Brother Alexei, while you were cultivating, we were able to unearth both middle grade and upper grade spirit stones. Without saying a word, Maximus gently took the stones from Stanford. He scanned them with his primordial spirit power and was quite satisfied. The Franco family had indeed not been blinded by greed and had reserved top quality stones for him. The number of medium grade stones aligned with his expectations, but the number of upper grade stones far exceeded what he had imagined. Stanford continued, One tenth of the sacred stone super vein has evolved into a production site for upper grade spirit stones. Conservatively speaking, there should be at least 20 to 30,000 stones in this area. Only 10,000 have been excavated. All of them are here. Maximus frowned. Then he expressed, You don't need to continue working. You've done enough. Enjoy the fruits of your labor. It wasn't that Maximus was being generous. Rather, he couldn't wait any longer and wanted to leave. Even the discussion of spirit stones did not seem worth his while. Meanwhile, Stanford was shocked. Such a cache of upper-grade spirit stones. The implication of possessing them were vast. Uh, no, I, I can't, Stanford demurred. Maximus shrugged his shoulders and proposed, Then, let's split them in half. You can keep the remaining half. When I have time in the future, I'll come back and get it. Only now did Stanford know that Maximus was preparing to travel to other places, so he agreed. After that, Stanford revealed a hesitant expression. Maximus queried, Is there a problem? Stanford's expression became serious. He began, Maximus, do you remember the sea of fire we saw when we first entered the secret realm? Maximus raised his eyebrows and confirmed, Yes, why? Stanford went on, An upper-class divine fruit suddenly floated out of the sea of fire. I think it will be useful to you, but it is protected by a flaming diamond beast. The Franco family has lost a lot of men and horses attempting to acquire this treasure already, and I don't know how useful it would be to us.